up, loved ones? Um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about meditation today and how to meditate. I meditate twice a day now, but for years and years and years, I was like, fuck meditation. I can't do that. I can't quiet my mind. This shit's boring. Like, I, I don't meditate well, and then I would end up getting more frustrated from trying to meditate, and then that became like the antithesis of what I was trying to accomplish by meditating, because then I would leave all pissed off because of the fact that I can't meditate. You feel me? Those of you who are thinking about incorporating meditation or haven't because you feel like you don't know where to start, allow me to help. Meditation is not about being able to quiet your mind at first. What meditation is about is giving the mind a vacation. It's a vacation from your normal life, your patterns, your, your, your thought processes, even for five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever the case is but it's also a vacation from you. And what do I mean by that? Meditation is about not judging the ideas that come into your head while they're happening, right? So if you're sitting down to meditate and you're like, man, okay, I'm gonna meditate now. Oh my, whatever, however you do it, right? And then, that's not what I look like. And then, <laughs> and then you're like, oh, I'm thinking about laundry, I'm thinking about my dog, I'm thinking about my girlfriend, my boyfriend, I'm thinking about my, my parents, I'm thinking about money worries, I'm thinking about, you know, what's happening with corona. I'm thinking about all these different things. That's okay. Because that's how a mind works. That's what a mind wants to do. That's what a brain does. It conjures up particles into visions. That's amazing, first of all, let's just, let's just be grateful to the mind for that. But your mind does not deserve from you is judgment about the thought process that it's having. I'm gonna say it again, I'm gonna say it slower because it shouldn't resonate. What your mind does not deserve from you is constant judgment about the thoughts that it is conjuring up. And that's what meditation is. It's okay to think about your dog or your laundry or the bathroom that needs to be cleaned or your neighbor who has COVID. It's okay for these ideas to pop up in your head. Just don't hold on to them and then don't judge them. Because if you judge them, that defeats the purpose of allowing your mind to be free. Not every meditation is gonna be right for you but there are so many out there. The, the reason that there's so many meditations out there is because there's so many different types of people and personalities that meditations work for. I guarantee you, you try two or three, you'll find one that works for you. As long as you don't judge the thought processes that are happening that aren't part of the meditation, because that is part of the meditation. It's about taking out the trash, taking out the mental trash. You have to let it be. You have to let it be conjured into existence and then float away. Let it go. And if you can do that, that is the beginning of meditation. So I invite you, if you've been afraid of meditation or been hesitant or reluctant to try it because the couple times you've tried it, you couldn't quiet your mind or you have this, this story in your head that you, that you have to quiet your mind when you're in meditation, you don't. And if you can't bring yourself to meditate, here's a trick. The same parts of the brain calm down when you're meditating as when you're doing handwriting. Why is that? Well, back to what I said about meditation, it's a vacation for the brain. So if you're just writing down, well, today I woke up, I washed my hands 46 times, I ordered some stuff off of Amazon. The way it works, going back to meditation being this vacation for the brain is, that eventually when you write enough, you're gonna to get to a point where you run out of ideas. And you can't hold on to those ideas if you're just writing. So what happens is this phenomenon called stream of consciousness. And stream of consciousness means it's the unfiltered ideas coming out of the brain because you've taken out the trash, right? You got all the other crap out, now here comes some new crap. And sometimes that new crap is exactly what you need to focus on in life. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. So if you're down to meditate, I totally recommend that you try it. And if meditation is just way too foreign for you, do handwriting. 
Just journal, write, 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 until you have nothing else to say. Even if you're writing, I don't have anything else to say. And that's called stream of consciousness. Either way, puts you in a meditative state. It does help, I guarantee you. All right, love you guys. Wash your hands.